Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and this is my channel Books for Life and today I am here for the Easter tag. So if you celebrate Easter, happy Easter. Today is actually Easter morning. I saw this tag as I was watching some videos this morning so I was like, ooh, I want to do this. So I decided to hop on down here. Hop. Ha! <laughs> So I decided to come down to my office and film this real quick. I'd be amazed if I'm able to get this up today, but if not, I definitely hope to have this up for tomorrow. So I hope if you celebrate Easter that you have an absolutely wonderful Easter, and if you don't, I hope you have a great Sunday. I watched this video from Autumn of Pelinor, and I'll leave her channel linked below, specifically her video. It was actually created by Rosie the Reader, and I will leave her video link below as well. So if you want to check out those two videos, you can check out the description box. So the first prompt is Rabbits, a book you wish would multiply, meaning a book you wish would have a sequel that doesn't currently have one, or the author does not plan on making one. And for me, that would be The Glass Arrow by Kristen Simmons. I read this a couple years ago and I absolutely loved it and I would love to be immersed in that world a little bit more. The next prompt is Egg, a book that surprised you. I guess a book that surprised me recently would be Rust and Stardust by T. Greenwood. I didn't plan on reading this book, it just actually came up on my Libby app, so I decided to listen to it and I was amazed by how much I loved it and how much of a tearjerker it was and just how much it moved me. The next prompt is Hunt, a book that was hard for you to find. Now this book wasn't really hard to find, it was just that when we tried to order it on Amazon it kept being sold out and it took us like a year to finally get it. And that would actually be the third illustrated Harry Potter edition. For some reason it just was always sold out on Amazon for us. Or right, the next prompt is Lambs, a children's book you still enjoy. I really love the Frog and Toad series. I am excited to begin reading these with my son. He's now six, so I could have read it into him earlier, but he's really going to begin to get the themes that are present in these books, and I just, I remember loving them as a child, and I'm excited to share those with him. The next prompt is Spring, a book with a cover that makes you think of spring. When I think of spring, I think of pastels, and I don't really have a pastel-y book on my shelves, but one that I think of is Love and Gelato, and I'm not sure who that's by, but I'll leave a picture here. I just love, it's like pastel-y green, and there's, I think there's a, an addition with pink on it, and has like a little ice cream cone, and that just makes me think of spring. The next prompt is Rising from the Dead, a book from a deceased author. Well, I'm going to use this two ways. I'm going to talk about Frankenstein from Mary Shelley, because not only is Mary Shelley dead, but she also brings someone back from the dead. And the next prompt is Baskets, a book that is in your Amazon heart or your wish list. I still really want to purchase A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I haven't purchased that yet and I definitely want to read it soon. I've heard that it's just absolutely amazing so that is in my Amazon cart. Another series that is in my Amazon cart is City of Brass and City of Copper. I'm not sure if that's a duology or if there's a third book coming out but that's another series that's in my Amazon cart. But I could continue on. I have a lot of books in my Amazon wish list. And the last prompt is Candy, a book that is sweet. And when I think of a sweet book, I think contemporary, I think friendships, I think love. This is tough for me because I don't read a lot of young adult contemporaries. I guess The Way You Make Me Feel by Maureen Gu. That was just a summer friendship story. Oh, also how about Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. That was another great summer love kind of story. I really enjoyed both of those. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. As I said, if you celebrate Easter, happy Easter and enjoy your Sunday. As always, keep reading!